All right. Hi, uh, Salem. Uh, uh, my name is uh, Björn Troch, uh, and I'm also known as the social traveler. Uh, I've been traveling six years uh, around the world, and I use two rules. Uh, I can't use guidebooks, uh, and I can't use uh, search engines. So everything I do is influenced by people that I meet in real life, or people that follow uh, my travel adventures via social media. Uh, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+, uh, Pinterest. I, I use different networks and uh, every time I kind of go somewhere uh, I just uh, ask the community uh, where I should go in that city or place, who I should meet there and then things kind of happen. People start commenting and influencing uh, my, my travels. Uh, so since the very beginning actually, uh, for six years now, everything's connected. Uh, to the very beginning and I also allow the community to uh, give me challenges and when I accept the challenge I go do it and then people follow that again uh, to see the, the progress and uh, they also again try to help me succeed or influence it uh, along the way. Um, to give you an example, uh, my first challenge was to hike uh, Camino de Santiago in Spain um, that was a 900 kilometer hike trail. It took me 33 days. Uh, it was the very beginning and uh, met a lot of people along the way. And there it started. So people started following it uh, very slowly and organically. It grew over different platforms to now 50,000 people that have been following this uh, over, over the years. Uh, another example for a challenge was, is maybe uh, my tandem bike challenge from uh, Kuala Lumpur uh, to Hong Kong where I had to find a tandem bike, so no Google, just via via. Uh, found a tandem bike and then cycle from Kuala Lumpur all the way to Hong Kong and find people to join me on the bike along the way. Uh, 25 different people uh, joined. Um, it was one big adventure and also again people could see what was happening in the moment uh, thanks to social media. Yeah, so that's a little bit the introduction. What there does you go. Know, what does social media travel means exactly? Uh, well, it means that you travel uh, with the help uh, or information or you cr basically crowdsource information from uh, people. and. Uh, or, like for example, a famous example is Couchsurfing, where people offer their uh, house uh, for you to stay. I kind of turned it around, I said, oh, I'm going there, and if somebody wants to host me, they can. There was no obligation, but sometimes people did, sometimes they didn't. Sometimes they said, oh, you, you should stay in that hostel, so I did. So I kind of always followed the, the lead uh, of, the, of the community. Uh, and if I didn't get an answer online, I just asked uh, in the streets. Yeah, so that's always social, and that's why it's also called uh, the, the social traveler. And what is your main goal of this? Sorry? What is your main goal of this? My main goal is to see the world as it really is. And yeah, just to put yourself out there so you actually uh, give people the chance to, to meet you. And uh, I get the opportunity to meet a lot of different people from a, a lot of different cultures, religion, countries, um, which I've been doing and I learned a lot. It, for me it's been a, a, a big learning process and uh, to be honest, stereotype after stereotype uh, went away or died because you grew up and maybe not intentionally, you grew up with stereotypes over about uh, people and often they turned out wrong. You said you already know um, surprise when you come to Tunisia. How was it for that? Sorry? You said you were surprised when you come to Tunisia. No, no, I didn't really know what to expect, but I, I'm pleasantly surprised. Uh, really, like, yeah, for the people, uh, it was very open, uh, liberal. I never felt unwelcome anywhere. Um, people were very helpful. Um, I also got people that invited me, even uh, somebody showed me around uh, the, the Medina 
uh, in uh, Tunis here. Um, yeah, v very good experience, to be honest. So what, what are the, the best uh, memories you able to keep about Tunisia? About the people? Um, yeah, as I said, everybody was really, really super friendly, um, helpful, smiling, salam everywhere you go, uh, shukran, <laughs> thank you. Um, yeah, I, like I said, I felt really at home here. Um, and yeah, beautiful sights. I went to the, the, the mountains, I went to the, the beach. Uh, and uh, yeah, maybe, I mean, <laughs> is this, this is no, this no problem? Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, so. So, what are the tips you want to share with people who are willing to travel around the world? Ah, oh, just, just do it. Just do it. And uh, don't be afraid. Don't believe all the. Uh, a lot of the times you get advice from people that maybe never traveled or never uh, went anywhere a little bit uh, out of their comfort zone. So. Just, just go do it. Try it. Uh, you'll be fine. I always say like when, uh, as long as there's people around, you'll you'll be totally fine. Uh, generally, people are res respectful. Uh, if you treat them with respect, it's a very logical process. Um, and uh, I've I've been helped and welcomed in almost now six continents. Yeah, I just there's one missing, uh, but. Uh, yeah, don't be afraid. And uh, how is important, how is social media important in travels nowadays? Ah, more and more. Like, pe But people search for information via uh, Google uh, to find uh, information about a place. But then they always will double check with their friends that traveled uh, to certain places uh, to see if they make the right choice. Uh, is the, the, or the, the information they found, is it true? Uh, they kind of double check via their social network of, of people um, and that influences uh, travel a lot also uh, people see a lot of uh, nice pictures from travels around the world via social media and um, so the information via social media also reaches the people in a different way so it kind of passes them through their friends or social network maybe not searching for it but it passes and uh, then they, f they uh, create an interest and start asking more about to their friends and also then of course uh, this disruptive apps uh, like there are uh, Airbnb uh, to book uh, places, uh, Uber to get around. Um, it's, it's been changing in six years, it's changed dramatically. What like the most you know, efficient social media for traveling? The most what? Um, depends for what you what you want to do. Like uh, if it's about meeting people, um, I think uh, Facebook is really good. Uh, you you can just post uh, your that where you're gonna go, and then your friends generally know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody, uh, and then they they tag them. If you're on interest field, int uh, Twitter and Google Plus, also Instagram is really good because. Uh, you have people following certain hashtags and then they see ah, oh, this person is interested in that and then you kind of connect on interest level um, and also there you kind of tap into a whole new group of people and friends uh, but you just have to uh, trust uh, in you know that it's in goodness and uh, you, you have a chat then you meet up with the person and you go from there you trust your gut feeling or instinct that generally is the the best uh, indicator um, better than anything else yeah so one word to finish the interview sorry one word to finish the interview ah come to tunisia it's really awesome no seriously i had a, a great time here uh, beaches are amazing really beautiful uh, then also the mountainside where i went zaguan there was like this roman uh, Temple, um, temple, the water temple, yeah, Temple des Eaux, and uh, there was a techno party, electro party, 
organized on the site itself. 4,000 people showed up from all across the country. Great atmosphere. Uh, it's been a long time that I've been dancing so much. Um, yeah, really. Uh, also there, like everybody was very welcoming. We we're all dancing together. Um, I I enjoyed it a lot. And follow the social traveler. <laughs> yes, you can. Yeah, you can follow it. The social traveler, uh, traveler with one L, and find it on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and uh, and influence uh, the travels. Yeah, no worries. Thank you. Thank you very much for the interview and uh, see you again. I'll definitely come back.